she just prayed over her, whole, her shoulder and what happened to her shoulder? It got healed. It got healed. It's better, right? That was done through her because she's amazing. My brings, Christ took away my dark pains, washed away my sin stains, breaking me free. He broke the chains. He's off the chain and I'm free now. Making me see, I can see now. Look at me now, I see now. See to I see now. He wrapped the king from here to the grave to eternity. I know you're feeling me. I know you're hearing me. No devil, no hell, never burning me. You're never burning me. In Jesus' name, gifts be healed. All pain go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. That knee? I think so. Thank you in Jesus' name. Danny Colvich. You need to be healed right now. I'll get out of here. Move your knee. Feel different? Can you lay hands? Uh, Are you? Is it better 100% or do you anything left? Like still crunching? No? no? Cool. Any pain whatsoever? No? That's crazy. It's narrow. Do you get back pain, lower back? Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you have it right now? No. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I had back surgery after my son was born. Oh, okay. I was hearing back pain, so check this out. In Jesus' name, lower back. Lay your hand back on the back. <laughs> say, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lower back be healed. Lower back be healed. Say every disc go back in place. Every disc go back in place. I took your back hand. See how it feels. It feels alright, dude. That's fing weird. Yeah, it's Jesus. Like, like, yeah, he's real and he loves you guys. Like, it's crazy. Like, earlier today I just saw this dude. He had a messed up knee and shoulder pain because from sports injury. That's all I was hearing with you when I was talking to you, but like, it was cool. We prayed and like, his shoulder got healed and his knee got healed, his girlfriend got healed with asthma. It's just cool, like Jesus, man, he's real and he, he's not religious, you know? Like a lot of people think the whole Christian thing's about doing all this stuff and blindly believing, but Jesus is really funny. He just says, love people and I'll show up. It's easy, you know? But, you're, I feel like, man, I see like that calling on your life. I feel like you're really intrigued with the spiritual atmosphere around you. You're, you're a vibe type person, I feel like, but really what it is, is you feel the spiritual atmosphere. Like, you could go to an area and for some reason you just feel weird about certain areas, or some areas you just feel this peace. But what it is, is you're actually sensitive to the demonic, and you're sensitive to the angelic, like the spiritual world around you. So it's like, you just, sometimes you'll like be in an area and you just chill vibes and peace, and I feel like you're a peacemaker naturally, like God's like in the heart where you, you don't like conflict, you're picking sides with people, you're constantly like making Peace. I see you as like a person who reconciles people's relationships. Like if people are mad at each other, huh? yeah. is that true about them? I, I just see you actually like reconciling people's relationships, and it's cool because Jesus reconciled everyone's relationship on the cross. So it's all good, man. That's like, and it's cool. I know this stuff because like God's just put it on my heart. He's bragging about you. You're amazing. Man. And you got any other thing like neck or anything like that? Man? You're good. Okay. We're bragging light, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You guys are amazing. Yeah. God bless you guys. Yeah. What movie are you seeing? Right along. Are you funny? No, I haven't seen it yet, but God bless you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So um, this is my boy Nathan. What happened, man? My ankle hurts from skateboarding, and um, my brother here just healed my ankle just now, instantly, from um, from uh, the prayers of Jesus Christ. So Amen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dude, that's Nathan yeah, you know, there, you guys. So God much. prayed and prayed for him, and Jesus healed him. Everything so. the enemy's Amen. thrown against him, just bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, when I'm praying, I feel like you have a really big heart where you really care for people. And like, like sometimes when people do stupid stuff, it hurts you, you know. Like, but I just won't, don't lose that heart, man. Just like God loves that about you, and you're amazing, bro. And do you have a knee injury? Uh, yeah. From skateboarding or what? Uh, scootering. 
scootering, okay. Which one? That one? Yeah, right here. Dude, do you want to heal? You mind if I film this? It's gonna be crazy. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> All right, check this out. Wait, is it filming? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. It, yeah. Okay. It's good. <laughs>
Is it better? Does your knee feel better? Is knee feel better? just started in high school. They both had knee injuries. Jesus healed them both and just got crazy prophetic words over them. They both gave their life to the Lord, got baptized in the Spirit. And then, uh, yeah, they prayed over each other actually and they, they, like God healed through them. And then they ran into us again and said, hey, we, we want you to meet our two friends. They don't really believe this stuff. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, it's this shoulder. You're a child of God now, check it out. Lay head. To say shoulder be healed. Shoulder be healed. All pain go. In Jesus' name. Move your shoulder. That's <laughs> weird. And any pain whatsoever. Not right now. You just said it was really sore. I like that. I got like a shoulder. Last much? Hey, it's not done yet, man. Say in Jesus' name, all pain go, shoulder be healed. Okay. 100%. Just so want to feel some crazy. Just so say, Holy Spirit, fill your up. Fill your up. I just thank you for her. She's just a treasure. You treasure her. You love her. I just bless her. God. I just thank you for her. Lord, I just thank you. I just bless her. Let her feel your love for her. Let her feel your presence, God. Lord, teach her. Show her, God. She's been just struggling with the idea that you are love. You are love her. So I pray that you fill her with your presence. That you fill her with your glory right now. Let you feel this kind of light. This kind of real light-headed, right? This guy kind of busy, right? Good. It's good, really good. And I'm just praying over you. I'm hearing in my heart that you have this concept where it's hard for you to picture God as loving you. It's kind of like God's this weird control freak up in the sky if there is God. I see like you have this hard concept of like it's hard for you to receive love. Like, I, I just see that. And I want you to know like God loves you so much and you're really precious. The, but I, the first thing I got heard in my heart is God was telling me that you're his treasure. You're treasurable. He treasures you. He treasures your heart. I see like crazy protection over you. Like, God's been protecting you. He's been getting you back. And this Lord, I just been what's your name? And I just release favor over here right now. In Jesus' name. Like, this is amazing. This is amazing. What's your name? It's hard for you to like really 
it feels like you're not appreciating what you're saying doesn't work great. But I'm telling you, what you're saying is actually causing an impact and it's changing the world. Does that make, does that make you sense? Or everything, no matter how thin you are. Does that make you sense? 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 Does that make Some, what, what all went down? Like, what, what's going on, man? Well, I can't, I mean, by glory of God, I showed up I randomly, you know, at Lloyd Center. I didn't come with expectations of meeting Josh or anyone here today. So I was just like, well, let's see what God has in store for me because I prayed for it. I want to know more. Show me more because I was hungry for more. And I asked him to show me one miracle and I'll be okay. Delivered three miracles in one night. Three miracles in one. Well, all went down, man. I mean, uh, first, the first, the first one I prayed over was a young girl that I knew in high school. Her shoulder was hurting. I prayed over it twice. First time it was halfway, but second time it went full through. God went full through with it. Then uh, his her her friend came over, a little intimidating at first, but he was uh, he he was raised in a in a Muslim religion. Didn't didn't expect anything. Josh prayed over him, and he had this. He, he prayed over his hip. And he got he had bullets in there that's been hurting for 19 years that's almost two too. take it almost two decades and it had arthritis prayed over him he didn't know how he didn't know how to react he was just like what did you do i've never felt this before i've just he, he wanted to show it but at the same time it was he like he was holding it back but you could see through his eyes that he was just amazed that god exists mm. then you know then finally i got uh, uh yeah, revelation like the Holy Spirit talked to me gave me a pain on my back and I was trying to figure out who is it then all of a sudden the Holy Spirit guided me and said go after this young man young man named Christopher 
a Christian, sorry, yeah. 20 years old, had, uh, I guess, what was it, the devil was trying to get his soul, he's trying to get his soul, next day talks to his brother about religion, today, he met Christ, he accepted him, he got baptized in the Holy Spirit, it's just healed, healed especially breath. healed, it's the man, it was an amazing experience, it's just, I love it, God is, God is too good, too good. Is there any going back now? No going back. Full on, pedal to the metal, nothing get in the way. I'm like a freight train on the street. Come on. Amen, amen. Man. This is what happens when the Holy Spirit gets people. Right here. Nothing but good. Nothing but good. Nothing but good.